In this tutorial, we'll cover a few of the top reasons why a controller in ProWatch might be offline, which is the red color indicating communication attempts are being made but are failing. We'll start by heading in ProWatch to Hardware Configuration and our Channels folder. Here in our Channels folder, what we'll do is we'll start by going to Properties on the channel. which we can do by giving it a double click. And on the channel properties, we have a communication parameters tab. The first thing that we'll check in effort to resolve this issue is to make sure that we do have the correct desired IP address and port number specified. Now, another good thing to check on the IP and port is to make sure we don't have any extra spaces, any spacebar entries at the end of the IP or port. Next, we'll follow up by using command prompt and just to make sure that we can ping the IP address and get a valid response back from the server. In this test, the valid response comes back and we should be able to rule out the channel as being the culprit of this issue. Next, we'll move from our channel properties to panel properties. And on panel properties, we have two important things. Right hand side here, we have panel model, which shows PW6000 and two boxes under that address, which is one. Now we always have to tell ProWatch what our physical panel is set to. Now our physical panel we know is a 6000, but in ProWatch we saw it was address one. Let's see if in the web interface of this controller, it is also address one. This will be the next item to check. We'll check this by heading over to the IP address of this panel in a web browser and logging in using either the default or a pre-configured name and password. Once logged in, a couple of tabs on the left, we'll start by clicking the Network tab. And on the Network tab, we should find the same IP uh, as programmed in the channel with additional information such as the subnet mask, the gateway, and a DNS server. Next, click on Host.com. And on this tab, most importantly, at the very top left, we have communication address. Okay, below this, we have port number 3001, which is also valid to match our channel. But you'll notice communication address was set to zero. We're going to change this communication address to one, as communication address in your web interface must match the programmed panel address in ProWatch, which was one. So what we'll do is we'll accept this change, apply and reboot the controller. And after the controller reboots, it could be a few brief minutes, we'll click in between the folders, channels, and panels, and just give it a little bit of time for communication attempts to finally succeed. And once they succeed, we should see our panel and channel turn green. So, there you have it. In this case, it was an issue with the address of the panel conflicting between ProWatch and panel properties.